Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 73. In the past few weeks, I've been talking about water droplets, and I've got a little bit more to share about water droplets this week. So the um, thing that I'm really investigating this week is what's actually happening when that water droplet hits the water and sort of goes underneath the water and then that spout sort of comes back out of the water that we usually collide with a second drop. Uh, so last week I kind of made really tall water spouts and I had said that uh, a large drop works as well as two small drops. And what I actually found when I started looking at it in more depth this week is that uh, it actually, a single large drop doesn't form. It's actually two droplets. So in, in reality, it turns out you need to have two droplets to get that large water drop. And what I, so, so I was looking in a clear container and I'll have uh, some uh, video sequences later in this episode sort of showing you this, but, but basically what I saw with one drop is that um, that first drop sort of hits the water and it really doesn't go very deep in the water. Uh, much less than half an inch deep. It kind of spreads out and then that caves in on itself and then it sort of pushes the water spout back up and it, it goes up a little bit. Um, in order to get those really tall water spouts, what happens is you have that first droplet sort of hits and creates that really shallow um, indentation and then a second drop comes right after that and that creates an indentation that's more than twice the depth of the original one. So you kind of have this uh, shallow indentation followed by a, a deeper indentation. It's still not very deep. The, the total indentation in the water is still well under an inch. Um, and then both of those indentations will collapse in on themselves and create that taller water spout. So what that tells me is that the depth of the container shouldn't need to be very deep. Um, I've been using containers a few inches deep. That's more than that deep enough. I think any container over maybe an inch and a half in depth should should work fine for these types of water droplets. You're, the, the, the indentation just isn't getting very deep in the water. So uh, there's really no need for a, a really deep container like some people think you need for these really tall water spouts. Because what's happening is you're pushing more water aside and then that's collapsing in on itself shooting the water droplet up much higher than the indentation was in, in the reservoir's fluid. So now I'll actually show you some sequences I created with the camera axe of uh, what I observed. Here's a single drop. Here's two drops. Thanks for watching.